Benny here, GhostFixATS.com, the number one sports consultant in the business. It's the weekend, Friday, March 8th. Shouts to the Ghost team, Derek Dimes, Jimmy, Jack, Chase. Shouts to everybody rocking with the Ghost team. Shouts to everybody rocking with the Ben Dog, like it or love it. Shout out to my enemies, shout out my competitors, shout out to my mini me's. I hope that you do better, bra, better me, better you, etc., etc. If looks could kill, then my style might body it. If you're new to my page, welcome. Hop on down to that subscribe. Give your boy Benny a subscribe. Tap the bell right next so you'll get my videos as soon as they pop up. And then head on over to Facebook. Head on over to Instagram. Start following along over there. We have free content from all five handicappers every single day. You can't see me. And then follow me along over on Twitter as well. At Benny Bistro. Got a little fab going on for the intro. All right. Nothing gets me going more than the weekend, baby. And the four-day extendo is still in effect. That's four-day of plays. Four days of plays for $124.99. UFC is included in it. UFC Fight Night 146. Two main events in this one. Ready? Wait for it. My balls is hot. Derek Lewis main event taking on Junior Dos Santos. And then we have Elisio Zaleski Dos Santos versus Curtis Millinder. All right, that's a co-main event. And we have Tim Means versus Nico Price. Grab your beers, grab your buddies, grab the UFC package and let's work. Four and one on the last card. All right, another winning package. That's 14 of the last 16 um, events in the UFC. We have one over here at Team Benny. All winners. All winners, all right? It's $30. It's over on the website. Come see what the Ben Dog is rocking with. I'll have it listed in the description below. Hey, these fight packs are fun. If you if you don't watch fighting, it gives you a good reason to tune in and see where your money is going. I've turned a lot of clients onto UFC. Now they enjoy it. It's fun. This event is on ESPN Plus. And hey, all right? I'm extending that one day promo another day. Today only. All right, we had it yesterday, run it again today. It's 14 days of plays for 250 bucks. All right, UFC is included, not one UFC. If we have this UFC this weekend, we have another UFC next weekend, all right? It's the Benny 2KO UFC special, all right? Kind of like TKO, totally not total knockout, all right? But T2KO, all right? 2KO, kind of like TKO, but 2KO. Benny 2KO, UFC special, 14 straight days of plays, 250 bucks, two UFCs included, included. So there's three ways to get UFC. First, $30 on the website, all right? That's a single event, single event package, $29.99, our price, all right? Second, $124.99, Bendo with the Extendo, four days of plays, today, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, UFC included, and then th third, today only, the $250 uh, Benny 2KO UFC special, 14 days of plays, and uh, the two UFC events included. Shouts to everybody who already got on it. Shouts to everybody who's going to get on it, all right? Ghost Picks Chase is promoting a NASCAR package. If anybody is into speed racing, go speed racer, go! Go on over to Chase, check him out. It's 50 bucks for his NASCAR package if anybody's involved, uh, in, in, likes, you know, NASCAR. So, all right, Jimmy, NHL. It's still balling, all right? Or however you want to, whatever NHL would be. It's still pucking. You know what I'm saying? NHL is still pucking over there for Jimmy, all right? So, and then Jack has been pretty sick, guys. I don't know what's up with him. Shouts to Ghost Picks Jack. I hope he gets better. And then my man, Derek Dimes. Had a throwaway month in February, but he's fighting back in March. He had a 3-0 day yesterday. Let's get it, all right? How did, how did our day go? Well, we lost another one by the hook. We pushed on one, and we uh, won one, and we lost another. That's our day. Lost on a hook. Illinois State, minus five and a half. Top tier play. They won by five. Live by the hook. Die by the hook. Guys, I'm not one for buying hooks. Not really one for buying points. I will never, almost never, I shouldn't say never, never say never, but I won't ever really tell you guys to buy a hook. But you guys are all good at this already. You're in tune with what's going on, okay? So everybody is different, you know? Some people love buying points. Some people love buying hooks. If you feel comfortable buying a hook, don't let me stop you. It's a preference that you might have, okay? Uh, we died by the hook. Yeah, so like I said, I'm not going to tell you to buy the hook, but if you want to buy the hook, feel free to buy the hook, okay? Um, we died by the hook two nights in a row. 
Sometimes we win by the hook. We live by the hook. Sometimes we die by the hook. We died by the hook two nights in a row. Illinois State beats Evansville 65-60. to 60. That was a top-tier loss. Next, our push. Army plus five versus Lehigh. Top-tier play. And a crazy little thing I'm going to tell you about here. I did not have the luxury of watching this one. So I'm watching this game cast on an app. Everything is good. Army is up 41-29 at half. Okay? Lehigh comes back. Starts beating Army in the second half. End of the game. My app shows at the end of the game that Lehigh wins 73-70. to 70. Boom! I'm all pumped thinking that I have a nice top tier win to start the night. I move on to the next game. I start checking other games out, feeling good. And then at some point, I'm going through my app again. And I'm seeing Lehigh won 75-70. to 70, Which means I did not get a top tier win. It means I got a top tier push. So I have one thing telling me 73 to 70. I have another thing telling me 75 to 70. Which is it? Unfortunately, the game ended 75 to 70 for a top tier push. And I'm not happy with that app. Not at all. You don't mess with the Ben Dog's emotions like that. You guys know damn well how I feel about sports, especially the games we have money on. I don't like that. I do not like that at all, okay? Don't do me like that, okay? Had a win on Hawaii, plus two. They won outright against UC Davis, 76-69 for a free play premium, or not for a free play, for a premium play win, another dog winning outright, and then I had a premium play on Portland Trailblazers, minus three and a half against Oklahoma City, and OKC beat Portland for the fourth time this season. Son of a gun of a gun of a gun. Obviously not the outcome we were looking for, not at all. It was an exciting game as expected. The game went to overtime, but OKC turned it up. They won 16 to 8 in overtime. Portland had no answer in OT. And then uh, over on Twitter, we had the Milwaukee Bucks minus 10 for a free play win. Follow me along over on Twitter at Benny Bistro. The Bucks handled the Pacers quite easily. 117 to 98, getting the job done. And that's my day in a nutshell. Going right back at it right now. Come get linked up with your boy and let's have ourselves a weekend here. All right, free play of the day today. NBA, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, Toronto Raptors on the road, taking on the Pelicans. Raptors looking to snap a two-game losing streak. Just lost to the Rockets on their last game out. We're taking the Toronto Raptors to snap the losing streak tonight on the road in New Orleans, laying seven and a half points. Free play of the day will be Toronto Raptors, minus seven and a half points. This is a match that Toronto has owned. They have covered 12 of the last 18 times they played the Pelicans. They have covered 14 of the last 16 times they played the Pelicans in New Orleans. It's a nice way to snap a losing, uh, a losing streak. Going up against a team that you play well against. Drew Holiday is out in this matchup. He will not be playing for the Pelicans. Anthony Davis has his minutes limited. And uh, honestly, the Pelicans have still been playing well with all that stuff going on with Anthony Davis. Still covering spreads. Just not super consistent. You know, they're a little up and down. You don't know what you're going to get from them night to night. They are 9-2 against the spread in the last following uh, 11 following an ATS loss. Like I said, they've been covering. They're 5-2 against the spread in their last 7 overall. They're 8-2 against the spread in their last 10 versus a team with a winning record. The Pelicans are also 1-4 against the spread in their last 5 versus Atlantic Division teams. They're 1-10 against the spread in their last 11 Friday games. The road team in this matchup is 22-6-1 in the last 29 games between these two teams. That's a very interesting stat right there. The road team gets it done between these two teams. So despite the two game losing streak, Toronto has won nine of their last 12 games. Sitting behind Milwaukee in the standings, looking to keep pace, not playing well against the spread though, okay? They're one and eight against the spread in their last nine games overall, that's bad. They're four and 12 against the spread in their last 16 road games, that's bad. Even though those numbers aren't good, I feel comfortable laying the points here. The Raptors handle New Orleans. Raptors have lost two straight. Look for them to bounce back. Look for them to show up. Got to keep pace with those bucks. Free play of the day. Toronto Raptors, minus seven and a half. As always, guys, good luck. God bless. Grind on, baby. Cheers.